Grant to the next one, Dwight Grant versus Dustin Stoltzfus. Yeah, Good. Dwight Grant, the man, it, I, I like him, but he is, um, he's one, he's moved up to 185, his first fight at he, 185. This is going to be interesting, he's 37 years old, he's getting up there in age. Yeah, he is. Um, he is, if I'm not mistaken, the slight favorite in this. I don't love either of these guys. Um, they're both a little inconsistent for me. Yeah. Um, Stolzfus has lost three in a row now. I think uh, Grant's lost two in a row to Francisco Trinaldo, and he had that kind of a banger of a fight. Definitely banger of a fight against Sergei Kondasko. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. That, they both knocked each other down like a bunch. Yeah, no, they were just rocking each other. He had that pretty decent fight with uh, D Rod in 2020. He's Dwight Grant's good, but um, not a good matchup stylistically for him in this. I would say. I I don't think too highly of either of these guys. If you want me to be honest, yeah, I would stay away from this. I guess. I guess I'm going to go with Dwight Grant, but then again, it's fucking sketchy, man. I could see him landing a couple takedowns. I could see him getting a knockout. Stoltzfus, he has he just hasn't done much to impress so far, at least. I mean, he has had decent competition, but yeah, still. He came into the UFC pretty good and then kind of like started facing tougher guys and he kind of struggled a little bit. But this, for me, is a good is a striker versus a grappler matchup. Dwight Grant, he's got a kickboxing style. He was a champion in American Kickboxing Association. Utilizes a lot of kicks. The guy's like 90% legs. His torso to leg ratio is, is preposterous. You ever see that, Dan? And at 180, I don't know if necessarily 185 is a good look for him. He's, I, I think he's not that big of a dude. He's 37 years old. He desperately needs a win in this. Loser leaves yeah. the company. Yeah, loser gets lost. Uh, Dustin Salzfuss, also desperate need for a win here. He's winless. I win three in his last three. You got to win in the contender series, but whatever. Um, he's also had it pretty tough in his last two fights. He's won both rounds, one and two, and then he got subbed in the third in both times, which is just absolutely it makes losing probably like ten times more brutal. Knowing that you're about to win this fight by the judges and you get caught both times, his grappling is very good. He was able to grapple or out grapple for the most part. Rodolfo Vieira, who's an IBJJ champ and Gerald Mearshart, who's like a UFC veteran grappler. And he was able to hang with them. I think mm-hmm. Stoltzfus is going to use that size in the grappling. And I think he, he really, he kind of maybe makes it boring, but just grinds out a win in this one. So to get in the win column, you know what I mean? Yeah. I kind of see that going on here, but we're going to disagree on this one. Dan's going to go with Dwight Grant. I'm going to go with Dustin Stoltzfus. Mm-hmm.